Hey everyone, welcome back. I recently acquired a Radeon RX 7600 for just £240. I was actually just browsing for a new GPU to upgrade my daily driver, which currently has an RTX 3060. But I spotted that this MSI Mech 2X OC version of the RX 7600 and saw Amazon was selling one that I'm guessing was a return for £30 less than the usual price. Nothing wrong with it, just opened and the box had a tiny amount of damage to it. As this is the OC model, the base clock speed is 1798 MHz with a game clock speed of 2283 MHz and a boost clock of 2693 MHz while the 8GB of VRAM has a clock speed of 2250 MHz. As always, I'll be pairing this with a Ryzen 7 2700X and a 16GB DDR4 RAM clocked at 3600 MHz. We're going to see how well AMD's latest budget offering fares against the most demanding titles, both at 1080p and 1440p, as it supports ray tracing. We'll see how well it does with that too in support games. Right, so Cyberpunk 2077 first. Um, we're going to start off with at 1080p. Uh, we're running at the high preset. However, we'll start with uh, FSR off and see uh, how we fare in Night City with these settings. All right, here we go. Um, we're off to a great start here. No FSR, we're already achieving. Uh, averaging 90 odd frames per second. I was not expecting that. In fact, what I do expect is not going this way. So uh, maybe if we head further into Night City, it might, but honestly. But this is the thing, right? I figured out why I was getting a frame rate cap with Cyberpunk 2077. Um, well, I say I figured it out. I figured out a fix. I don't know what was causing the issue, but simply I used the Windows 10 upgrade tool to to upgrade it, and and uh, I basically kept my files and settings, and then um, and then it would just it, all of a sudden Cyberpunk 2077 just worked fine with any hardware. I just don't understand what the issue could have been. It must have been some driver conflict or something. But whatever the case, I fixed it. I don't know what caused it. But there's a fix. It looks like we're getting a frame rate drop now. You know, as we get further, venture further into city, we're getting about 60 odd frames per second. But even so, we're still running pretty well. I mean, we're running this, you know, version 2.0 as well. So yeah, you know, but even so, we're still getting really good performance. But I think what we'll do now is change, see what um, difference FSR. I mean, obviously, we don't even need FSR, but still, you know, if you, if you want to get those frames. To get FSR on. Right, here we go. So with FSR on, we set it to quality mode. Um, we're seeing similar kind of frame. Maybe slightly higher. The uh, percentile lows are a bit higher as well. But yeah, I mean, yeah, quite frankly, FSR. You know, yeah, well, it does obviously it does make a difference, but um, you, you don't really need it. You can comfortably play Cyberpunk 2077 with uh, without FSR on this GPU get really good frame rate, especially if you've got a high refresh monitor, it'll do absolutely fantastic. You know, we're getting over 100 FPS now in the less intensive areas. But I think what we'll do now, because this uh, card is capable of ray tracing, we'll um, turn ray tracing on and, see, and just we'll just ramp it up to maybe medium settings and, uh, and just see what how much of an impact on the FPS that does. So what I've done is I've set the preset to ray tracing medium. Um, we're keeping FSR on at, again at quality, and I mean the, the frame rates uh, drops a little bit. I, can't, I mean, I'm hitting it, mind you, though it's not particularly sunny. There's not much of light going on, so uh, I'm not too sure about the ray tracing. But even so, I mean, we're dropping down to 40s, which is which is it's it's all right. But oh, hang on, what, about, what about the puddles? Let's have a look at the puddles here. Uh, get out of the car, get out of the car. Let's have a look at the uh, reflection of the puddles. Is that, uh, it looks a bit, still looks a bit fuzzy. But. It's, it's all right. It still looks really nice. It's not perfect, but yeah, if you really wanted to do, put, add, you know, add ray tracing, you know, you can do. And without a sign, you know, it's, the drop in performance is significant, but not not detrimental to the uh, to the experience. Uh, are you, are you, yep, are you gonna get out? Yeah, get out. So, yeah, I mean, and the percentile lows, you know, there's no stuttering or anything. Yeah, this is this will 
comfortably run with ray tracing on if you really want that but if you want obviously you want as many frames as possible you have ray tracing off you can maybe ramp up the uh settings a little bit more to like you know maybe ultra i mean to be honest i did actually try ultra um but oh, we had a bit of a drop there i did try ultra we did, we did get a bit of stuttering i mean we got about 60 odd fps but there was stuttering as the uh, gpu got maxed out i mean temperatures are doing fine we're getting less than 60 celsius although the uh yeah i can still hear the fans but I think what we'll do now is we'll uh, see how it handles 1440p. I don't think we'll... We could maybe add ray tracing, but quite frankly, I think that would probably be a bit too much. Right, so we're at 1440p now. Uh, high settings, no FSR. Um, frame rate's still pretty respectable. We're just short of 60 FPS, which is fine. It's still very playable. Um, and yeah, it's... Yeah, this is... Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I hit the copper car. Get out of it. Oh, God, this car's... Oh, this car's rubbish. Don't like this car. No, no, it's fine. Let's get out of here. Um, yeah, we're down to about 40-odd FPS. Yeah, maybe 1440p is not the best option. I mean, I am playing this on a 1440p display. Yeah, it still looks great. It looks really nice. But the frame... I mean, the frame is... You know, considering it's less than 60 FPS, it's not that noticeable. And I lost it. Right, okay. Um, but what happens if we uh, add some FSR to the mix? So once again, we set the uh, FSR to quality, and we are getting over 60. We're going to get 70, nearly 80 FPS in general, averaging about 73 FPS. So yeah, I mean, you're going to play. I mean, probably the best thing if you're going to if you've got a 1440p display and you want to play Cyberpunk 2077 playing on high settings with FSR set to quality. I mean, that's part of the high preset anyway Ooh, and yeah there's you can have a really good time with this if you've got a high refresh display but even so if you've got a 60 fps display it's still gonna you know it's gonna be stable but yeah when i do get around to streaming this on twitch i'll be uh probably use this card i figure we give a controller a go because my uh, rtx 360 is more than capable of uh um, achieving at 60 fps with the maximum settings and ray tracing set to high so we're going to do that with the uh, rx 5600 as well uh, no motion blur and uh, we'll see if it's if it stacks up against the 360 when it comes to ray tracing right, here we go it's not looking promising here we're getting like averaging 40 fps um i mean yeah fair play to amd you know adding ray tracing capabilities to their gpus but it's not quite there yet i mean it looks nice but it's just maybe yeah maybe ray tracing is not a good option to use with this card um oh god we got a bit of stuttering there oh and a lot of stuttering a lot of stutter oh god there's a lot of stuttering this guy always takes me out those fans are going nuts i mean we're not even at 60 60 celsius it's really sensitive to the temperature but yeah maybe uh <laughs> turn ray tracing off and we'll uh see what a difference that makes and with ray tracing off what a difference that makes we're getting nearly 80 fps really smooth the uh percentile lows are looking good as well yeah this is yeah you, you, yeah ray tracing is probably not the best uh option to use <laughs> for sure especially with control at least but i know a lot of people consider ray really tracing a bit of a gimmick and it's only with your the latest uh nvidia cards where you'll really start to see you know ray tracing you know the, the you know what is it uh oh god what's it called now there's like a technology in there that's like makes it even better i can't remember what it's called <laughs> i don't have any 40 uh, a 40 series card yet I don't think I, I, I am considering getting the 4070, but I'm not sure yet. Still weighing up my options. Which is how I end up coming across this 7600. Just looking up the uh, AMD equivalent. Well, we're dead there. Uh, maybe we'll try it at 1440p and see uh, if it keeps up. And here we go at 1440p. Yeah, obviously the frame rate has dropped significant, significantly. Uh, VRAMs. VRAM usage is higher, it's just over, over six gigabytes of VRAM being used. I mean, it's 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 fine, you can play it, but obviously, as, you know, as I said before, 
you want more uh, frames, you'd be playing this at 1080p, quite frankly. I mean, there's no FSR in there. There's DLSS, but there's no FSR. But there is render resolution. So maybe setting, you could can, probably play this at 45p and set the render resolution, but there's no... You can't change the uh, quality or anything like that. I don't think. But anyway, dead again. <laughs> Doom Eternal now. We're going to yeah start with 1080p. I'm just going to crank it all up. Ultra Nightmare settings. Uh, we'll keep ray tracing off for now. And uh, then let's let's rip and tear, shall we? All right, look at this, 240 FPS. And it's gone down again, but don't, two, over 200 FPS at the maximum settings on a budget GPU in 2023. How about that? This is fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm optimistic about that. Uh, 45p is gonna do good. Smash, I mean, it just goes. Do Doom Eternal such a well optimized game. Bonk. Slice. Ah, yeah, shut up. Slice in dice. Bonk. It on fire. Oh lord. Oh no 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 no. Get out of my way. But yeah, I mean, we're averaging 170 FPS. I mean, not much more to say about this. This is uh, oh god, we got an actron. Get out of it! No, no, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of, oh shoot, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm I'm, I'm dead. Right, okay, let's. <laughs> I, th I think we'll just uh, we'll we'll try ray tracing first, then rank, then ramp it up to 40, 40p. All right, so this is interesting. With <clears throat> all I've done, ray tracing is simply on or off, and. It has, it's absolutely tanked the frame rate. We've gone from 200 FPS to 30. That is unbelievable. Oh God, this is awful. It feels so sluggish in comparison. The percentile lows are not looking great either. But yeah, ray tracing, and quite frankly, it doesn't look any different. Yeah, I already, I mean, yeah, you don't want ray tracing on, period. So let's crank it up to 1440p and... Uh, but turn ray tracing off, obviously. Right, here we go, 1440p, no ray tracing, and we're still getting really good frame rates. We're getting the, 100, you know, we're in the 130s. Ooh. Ow. Get, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right, chainsaw, gonna get the chainsaw out. Chainsaw! Bonk. How's the, uh, well, the, uh, the RX 600 has been maxed out. The VRAM's close to being maxed out. It's 7.7 7 gigabytes being used. And we're not getting any stuttering whatsoever. Which, is, quite frankly, is to be expected from the uh, Doom Eternal. It's so well optimized. In fact, one thing, I forgot, I forgot to test this on that RX 460. That's annoying. But I reckon that would have run well. Yeah, 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 I got it. Sweet, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just crack on, mate. But yeah, no, the cacker demons. Hoi! The cacker demons are here. Oh no! And I'm dead. But anyway, yeah, Doom Eternal runs great on this card. Even at 1440p. Forza Horizon 5 now. We're going to run this at 1080p first. With the extreme presets. So extreme. But uh, we're going to turn. Where's the ray tracing? Do you want to turn ray trip? Wait, what? Doing? Stop doing that. Turn ray tracing off. Um, first. And then see, and see what. Uh, and then we'll turn ray tracing on. See what difference that makes to the frame rate. Right. So. And we're off. Oh, go a bit of stuttering there. Um, now, got the mouse on the screen. <laughs> uh, it did give me the warning of low video memory, and uh, yet yeah, we are exceeding eight gigabytes, so we are getting a bit of stuttering. I mean, it runs fine. We're getting nearly hundred FPS, averaging eighty six. Um, but yeah, I'm not even going to try turning on ray tracing because if the if the fact that the vid the VRAM's been maxed out, it's it's not even, it's not going to like it with ray tracing. So we'll keep that off. 
But yeah, extreme settings is not the best option to choose. But it just goes to show that even at, you know if we if we ramp it up, we're gonna get a good frame rate over the uh, <laughs> the percentile load. You will get a lot of stuttering as the VRAM gets maxed out. But yeah, maybe this maybe high you know, high settings on maybe any game is gonna be the sweet spot for this card. Oh no! Oh no! Oops! But yeah, it's uh, maybe oh, wait, where's the nearest town from here? Don't know where town is. But anyway, out in the out in the countryside, it's gonna be pretty smooth, but. As we've seen before, you go into more densely populated areas with buildings and such. Um, it's the, yeah, the frame rate does drops it. Oh, God, my controller's disconnected. Why did my controller disconnect? Okay, we're good. No, we're good. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay, what I'm thinking is, we'll maybe we'll, we'll, we'll increase the resolution to 1440p, but I'm going to reduce the preset to maybe high. Just to uh, yeah, ease off the VRAM a little bit. Right, so we're now at 1440p, um, high high presets, uh, and I mean we are getting still getting a bit of stuttering. Uh, we're not ma quite maxing out the VRAM this time, which is good. Um, but we're getting about 120 odd frames per second. So yeah, this is probably the, uh, the sweet spot, especially if you've got a high refresh rate monitor. Just go with the you know the high uh, settings still looks absolutely fantastic, quite frankly. It just doesn't, with ultimate, you know, with each, sort of extreme settings, it's just it does, it, it don't look different. It's it's it just looks still looks absolutely gorgeous. Maybe if we, I mean, we will probably get away with turning on ray tracing. I mean, mind you, though, if we are getting this kind of stuttering, uh, we are getting this kind of stuttering. Then maybe the oh no, not again. Every time. Yeah, we're getting that kind of stuttering. Maybe ray tracing is not ideal. Especially what we're starting to do with turn. I just absolutely crapped out at that. <laughs> Ooh, we'll just head into town here. See what happens. I mean, we could turn on FSR. FSR will make it will make, probably make a little difference to the uh, the percentile lows. But yeah, I mean, you know, Forza Horizon 5, another well-optimized game. Even 4040p, you can play that very comfortably on this uh, on this GPU. Okay, just for uh, just out of curiosity, I thought I'd uh, see if see what ray tracing and uh, FSR does. So I've set ray tracing to high. Oh no, controller's disconnected again. But um, <clears throat> actually, no, with ray tracing, we're still getting 120 odd FPS, and the percentile lows are better because of the FSR. But yeah, this is actually doing pretty well. But yeah, you'd be able to. Have ray tracing on on this game as long as you set the setting have the preset set to high and then set the ray tracing to high as well because uh the high preset and um, my control is disconnected again right okay we're back we're back we're back Whoa. i mean percent i was uh probably dropped a bit there but that was probably because i paused the game <laughs> but yeah there's yeah have a you could, have, you could have ray tracing on i mean we're not even maxing out the vram which is good but it just goes to show, I mean, extreme's probably a little too extreme. But high, it's just a just the right amount. Oh, go. Still get a bit of stuttering there. But yeah, maybe maybe ray tracing isn't the best option. Ooh. It just it just shows that, you know, you, we're, we're not ready for a <laughs> ray tracing uh, AMD cards yet, by the looks of it. Right, we'll try uh, CS2. Uh, I'm confident it'll be more than capable of uh, handling this game. So we're going to run this at 1080p first with the high preset, and uh, we'll run a bot match, see how we get on. Right, here we go. Oh, we've got some stuttering there. Right? Oh, God, what's with the stuttering? Why is it stuttering? Why is it stuttering? Oh, my God. What is going on? Oh, my God. What is this? What is going on? This is terrible. Why did it stutter so bad? Is it Was it still rendering? What the heck? Maybe it was still rendering. No, nope, no, nope, still stuttering, still stuttering. I had better, better um, results from the Avex Four Sixty. Jeez, unless that. Actually, no. It seems to be fine now. Let's uh, maybe reset the counter. No, nope, no, nope, still stuttering. Like, what is going on? The Avex Four Sixty. I better maybe maybe we turn FSR on. Might get better results, but this is not impressive <laughs> at all. Wakey, wakey. Oh, no. 
Oh, I was scratching my head. <laughs> At least I'm getting some kills in. Bonus weapon. Is that the bonus weapon? It's not the bonus weapon. That's my bonus weapon? No! Why did it stop? Why did it do that? Oh my god. Get the pistol out again. Do it pretty well with that. Hello. Hey, it's someone's birthday. Got him. Reset the frame count again. Maybe it was just rendering. It was still rendering. Why can't it just render in the loading screen? Crying out loud. It's not what you want when you're doing an online match. It's still stuttering. What percentile loads are... I mean, 1% loads are fine, but the... Uh, no, 0.1%. Nice. Now, nah, I'm not switching to a bonus weapon this time. So this is fine. Shoot balloon. Nice. Oh, no, we got distracted. Don't get distracted. Maybe maybe if we turn down the settings, I don't know. Now we'll keep I think maybe keep it high settings. And then oh no. Right, run this at 1440p now. And seems to be a lot more stable. Which is weird. No no, we're still getting the odd stutter. Nah. I don't wonder what's happened. I might need to have a look into this. Because as far as I could as far as I was concerned, the RX 460 was absolutely fine. You know, that was a blooming budget card from 2016. Come on. That was more stable than this. Maybe there's a drivers. Maybe the maybe AMD need to update the drivers for uh, to be more optimized with the uh, CS2. I don't know. But yeah, this isn't great. We're nearly maxing out the uh, the VRAM there. But maybe if we turn FSR on, we'll see. We'll see if that makes a difference. I have a feeling it won't, but I guess uh, maybe we could. Hey, got a bunch hit. Anybody? Where are you? There you are. That same guys before. Wait. I mean, we're getting similar averages to 1080p, which is pretty good. Reload in. Oh, there you are. Oh, big stutter there. Too slow. Oh, come on. Right, I'll turn FSR on and just see what uh, difference that makes. Right, I've set FSR to balanced. And see what difference that makes to the percentile lows. I mean, it's uh, it seems to get a re reduce, reduced uh, average FPS, which is odd. But the percentile lows seem a, a lot higher. I mean, actually, uh, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's better than it was before. But yeah, obviously, you know, I expected better from CS2. Maybe if we, uh, it, obviously, you know, high, higher FPS, the better for these uh, eSports titles. So I guess you want to probably play it on the lowest preset. Um, but even so, you can still have fun with uh, CS2. We're going to try Lies of P now, uh, 1080p. Uh, we'll keep FSR off for now. And we'll set the graphics quality preset to best, which is the top, the, the maximum settings. And we'll uh, see how we get on there. Right, here we go. Now, um, when I last played this on the uh, RX 460, I, <laughs> after I stopped recording, I actually managed to beat that uh, mini boss. I was really chuffed with myself. I did not even record it. But as you can see, we are getting 187 FPS average um, so far. And... The percentile lows aren't great, but I think it's probably just re still rendering. Maybe if I just uh, reset the counter again, let's see if it still does it. I think we've got a key now to get through that door. Obviously, I've not played this uh, this bit yet, so this is all going to be new to me. And I've already forgotten how to play it. This button. So the 0.1% lows are not great. Maybe if we activate FSR, we'll probably have a, some better look. But uh, VRAMs, I mean, you know, the the it's it's been maxed out, but not the VRAM. Okay, we can open the door now. Yes, let's go. Push, push, Pinocchio. Yeah, maybe best um, isn't isn't the best <laughs> option. 
and you can just get it just you're just gonna get a lot of stuttering so maybe high preset would be better unless we uh activate fsr repair the stargazer i don't even know what that is oh use stargazer fully recovering hp and stamina as well as charging pulse cells if you we arrived at this point in case of death. Right, okay, so it's a checkpoint. Sweet. Right, I think I think we'll, before we continue, we'll uh, up, we'll, we'll turn FSR on. Oh god, I, I forgot that it doesn't actually pause the game. Run, dude. Why can't you run? All right, fine. Uh, how do I dodge? I forgot how to dodge. I forgot how to do anything. Right. Where was that? Oh, yes. The, uh, we'll use the, uh, we'll up the FSR. Right, running it with FSR set to quality, and it's looking quite promising with the uh, average in an un over 140 FPS. Percentile lows are looking good as well. Oh, hello. I've already forgotten how to play the game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I keep pressing wrong buttons. And what's, what's, what's the dash option? I forgot what the dash option is. I'm sure it's A. Is it not A? Dash, oh, it's B. There we go. And it dodges as well. Right, kit. Okay. Oh, and then... There, I got him. Sweet. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, what are you doing? Cool, right. Get the health back in order. Um. Oh, no, we've got Doggo. Sorry, doggo. Those fans are loud. They were not even running at 60 Celsius. But what I'm thinking is, we'll now run it at 1440p and see how we get on there. Right, we're now at 1440p. Um, and But I've decided to keep the best quality settings with FSR set to quality. And it's looking pretty good. Um, the Yeah, the frame rate's dropped a little bit. We're at 120-odd FPS. Get out of here. Um, percentile lows are still looking pretty good, so at least the F at least FSR actually helps with the. Oh god! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. I cannot do this! No! 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 Apparently they patched it to make this game somewhat easier, but oh, oh, no! No! Ah, and I died. <laughs> yep, I am just not cut out for these souls like games. But hey, at least it looks very pretty. Noise. Don't know what to do with these sawtooth wheels. Use bell lights. I know how to do that. But yeah, this is... I mean, yeah, we've still got a bit of a... Oh, well, mind you, I think that was from the... Uh, hang on, let me just reset that counter. Whee! No, oh no, who's that shooting up there? Yeah, I'm going to get you. Uh, how, do I get him? how do I get him from there? Let's go around here. Do, do, do. Oh, no. No! How do I aim again? Oh, yeah. I press, I press uh, R3. Bye bye. Right. But yeah, I mean, pff, lies of P. Very well optimized. I mean, if you run it, if you run, I mean, if, if you don't want to run FSR. Yeah, drop the quality settings to maybe high. It might be better. But with FSR, it still looks absolutely stunning. If you set as long as you say it's quality, and then you get no stuttering from it either. So, yeah. Let's see if we're going to try to take this guy, the guy down again. Ooh, no, no. He always hits me, even though I... How do I... How do I... How do I, how do I oh, do I... Oh, oh. oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God, why... And dead again. Whatever. <laughs> All right, time for Stutterfield. I mean, Starfield. Um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna uh, run this at 1080p first. We're gonna we'll try medium settings uh, without the FSR. We'll see uh, just how bad this is, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go, and uh, it's doing okay so far. We're getting 50 odd FPS. It's uh, not stuttering very much um oh we got a bit of stutter there 
It seems to be running okay. Not too bad. Maybe if we go towards this group of people here. I mean, we're not quite maxing out the GPU, so it seems to be coping. They actually done some tweet they updated it a little with to give it a bit more better performance maybe. Doesn't seem to be stuttering. Oh no, we've got some stutter there. But this is the thing, with New Atlantis it's like the most intensive part of the game, but it's there's not a lot going on. It's merely a hub just to uh you know buy and sell stuff and just wander around really. There's not really much going on. In terms of like you know missions and whatnot, so you know if you go to the you know the planets where there's not a lot on them, just very barren, it's where you get higher frame rates. So yeah, we'll get higher frame rates there. But what we'll do first before we head to another planet, we'll turn FSR and just see what kind of difference that makes to the uh, to New Atlantis. So what we'll do is we'll uh, turn FSR on, um, set sharpen into sixty nine percent as you do. Uh, render resolution scale. We'll set that to six uh sixty-six percent or not we do it? Uh, why is that like Yeah, that's right, sixty-six percent. Yeah, that's right. So we'll do that. And then see what uh happens here. So not really making much of a difference, quite frankly. I mean does it make things a little bit blurry, maybe? Nah, quite frankly, it's just not making much of a difference. Maybe maybe it's gonna be less stuttery, but uh Yeah. This is as good as it's gonna get really. Right, let's head to another, let's head to a planet and uh see what, what difference it makes. Okay, so we're on this uh moon of sorts. Um and you know, with Eversar still on, um we're getting like seventy odd FPS, which is alright. It's, it's it's doing pretty well. It's this is what you know the kind of uh, environment you will see most of the action. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. And then when you're inside, it's even better. Boing, just just keep just fly. Oh, what are those crystals? Boing. But yeah, I mean, it plays Starfield. Wasn't bored, is it? You know, you can actually play it. It's it's it's, it's all right. It's not stuttering that bad, really. It's a, like I say, the worst going to see it is in New Atlantis. But what I will do is now we'll uh, set it to seven, uh, 1440p and uh, see, <laughs> see how much worse it gets. All right, so we're now at 1440p. I've turned FSR off again. We're still running at medium settings. And yeah, we're getting uh, about 40, 50 FPS uh, whilst on this moon. Um, and then, I mean, quite frankly, if this is this is on a moon, it's going to be a lot worse um, if we go back to New Atlantis. So I don't, it, there's really no point going back there because we all know how that's going to go. Um, but yeah, maybe if we, uh, I mean, when, when I turn FSR back on, let's see what difference that makes this time. So FSR is now back on, set the uh, resolution scale to 66% again, sharpening to 69%, and we're getting 66, 60 odd frames per second whilst on a moon. Um, so yeah, this is this is absolutely fine. Um, although I am, I do note that I do get better, I'm pretty sure, I seem to recall, I do get, I'm, I've been playing Starfield on my 3060 at, you know, with um, D the DLSS mod, and I'm pretty sure I get better frame rates in this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen the frame rates up to over 100 for FPS whilst inside. And same settings as well, so you know, 66% um, display um, resolution and 69% sharpening, and yeah, I get better frame rates. So um, I feel that DLSS is probably the <laughs> it probably does better, even though it's only a mod as well. But apparently FSR is not very well, uh, it's not used properly in this. Uh, but uh, what we'll do is we'll go to New Atlantis, just see what difference it makes there. I'm not, uh, I'm, I won't be surprised if it's not very good. Back in uh, New Atlantis and yeah, well, yeah Stutterfest already. And we're getting 50 odd FPS, which is uh, not much, not that much different when we're running at 1080p, even with this FS, FSR on, so it's, it's, it's fine. I mean, I do get a smoother experience on the 3060 with the DLSS mod, but 
still. Oh god, the stutter is really bad there. But yeah, in all honesty, it's, this is not a 1080p card. I mean, 36 is a 1080p card, but well, oh, sorry, a 1440p card. You're better off at 1080. But 36 is slightly better because you got more VRAM with the 3060, 12 gigabytes as opposed to eight on this one. And in fact, apparently the 3060 does better than the 4060 at 4040p just because it has four more gigabytes of VRAM, which is important when you, if you want it to run at higher resolutions. But yeah, if you're going to play Starfield at 7600, it's you you you, you don't you, you 1080p, even if it is just stutter. I mean, it's it's fine if, if you want to play it 1440p, go ahead. But if you want the best experience, I'd say 1080p is uh, your best bet. So to conclude, the RX 7600 offers excellent performance for little money for 1080p gaming, especially when compared to its rival, the RTX 4060. However, the fans on this MSI model are very loud when the card is under high load, and despite being advertised as ray tracing capable, AMD just isn't quite there yet compared to Nvidia. So that said, if ray tracing is something that's important to you and you're happy to go with previous gen tech, you'd be better off going for the RTX 3060, as these can be found for a similar price to the RX 7600. Also, the 3060 has 12GB of VRAM, so it's better equipped for 1440p gaming. Either way, the RX 7600 is still a very good buy, and I've had a lot of fun testing it out. So that's all for this one. Uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave your thoughts on the RX 7600 in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.